Hey guys, let's test it back again. Uh, another package video for you. I know you love your package videos. <laughs> so yeah, I've got another package this morning. So it's only a quick video, I just wanted to do this. Um, I'm going to be doing my, new, my two tag videos for the Bush Gamer and Dan Central. Uh, I'll be doing those next. Hopefully upload all three videos today, uh, including this one. If not, it'll be today tomorrow, it depends. Because uh, I'm also uploading the gameplay video for Die Hard Bender, so as we speak. So obviously, you know, I can only upload so much and my internet connection tends to go a bit tits up late on. Yeah, you know. so anyway. Right, so I'm just looking at my GameCube and it's, it's looking nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's just dried out and absolutely treated it looks crappy anyway. Now this is one of two games, uh, as I said in my last video, when I got Die Hard Bender, so I've got two more games coming for the Xbox. Um, I'm hoping this is the one I really want to play, but no more luck, it probably isn't. And just, I thought I'd just say, look at that, as you can see, packaging is shit, so it came from the UK, because obviously people, you know, don't want to spend money on padded envelopes because they're so expensive. Yeah, right. <sighs> Lazy bastards. <laughs> Go to the post office and buy some padded envelopes for Christ's sake. <laughs> got that on half moment, but it really gets on my tip. Oh my god! This is like the weirdest packaging ever. Okay, so you've got a shit bit of plastic, uh, car bit of cardboard, no, it's a bit of paper, I mean, brown, brown paper. He's wrapped it in kitchen towel. What the? You know what I mean? <laughs> Who the hell wraps games in kitchen towel? <laughs> shit, man, that is the most shit packaging I've ever seen. That is random. <laughs> kitchen towel. <laughs> what the Someone's going like mop up my bloody spills after I've uh, opened the packet. That is just weird. I think this is like, oh, I can't afford to buy an envelope and I haven't got any packaging, so what's at hand? I know, I'll use some paint. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what a nutter. Oh, brilliant. It is the one I've been waiting for. Absolutely awesome. Ooh, nice. Excellent. So I'm just going to check the disc. Yeah, that's absolutely sound. Right, okay guys, it is a game called Siberia. Um, now, as far as I know, it's an adventure game. And it's complete. Manual and disc, I've just checked the disc and the disc clean. It's, you know, it's dusty, but they always are because they don't bloody clean them properly. But excellent. Uh, now, I've never heard of this game. Um, I don't know when this came out. Maybe it came out. Two parts and three parts, I'm spoiling it a little bit. But what happened was, I was uh, checking on Google, I've been trying to basically find out all the Xbox games that came out like probably mid to late 2005, 2006, because by the middle of 2005 I'd sold my Xbox and I was saving up to buy uh, an Xbox 360 because it was coming out December 2nd. So I didn't know, there's a lot of games that were released uh, that I don't know of, I've never played. Uh, there's also multi format games um, such as like King Kong, which was released on the 360 and the Xbox. Anyway, so I've been trying to like, basically get a full list of Xbox games, which is damn near impossible because all those stuff found are crap and inaccurate. Uh, and they're just PAL and not UK only, because PAL obviously covers you know, the UK, Europe, and Australia. So it's a bit of a shit. But anyway, uh, yeah, I was just looking at random games, and I got a bit fed up and found quite a list of uh, rare games and all this crap. And then I saw a game called Siberia 2, um, which a few websites were saying people were saying it was really good and uh, it was an excellent adventure, so I thought I'll have a look at that. So I checked YouTube for the gameplay, I think they had the trailers, they look really decent, so went on eBay, uh, and it's like 6 dollars is the cheapest I can get it, which is, you know, that's fair enough, I don't mind paying that little bit extra, because most Xbox games in the UK, unless they're like high profile games like Halo or something, you're talking like less than £5 normally, they're quite cheap, it's really good. So it's 6 dollars for uh, Siberia 2, and uh, I thought, well, I wonder if there's a Siberia 1, there must have been, but you never know, it doesn't always necessarily mean that, I mean the Siberia 1 could have been on a different console previously. And then the Xbox got Siberia 2, because I mean, you know, the Xbox has got Shenmue 2, it hasn't got Shenmue 1. So uh, I put Siberia into uh, eBay, and Siberia 1 pops up one copy, 15 quid rare. And I was like, oh, I'm not paying 15 quid for an Xbox game. I mean, you know, if it was something special like Halo 2 Tin Edition, maybe I might be considering it, but I'd be tempted, but not for Siberia. So I don't know if the game's good, and I don't want to waste 15 pounds. So I thought, oh, I'll sod it, I'll wait, and I just kept checking every couple of days. And then a couple of days ago, this copy turns up for 6 .99. So I was like, straight away, I was like, I'm having that. So I snatched it up. And um, looking at the back, it looks quite interesting. I mean, the problem is the back, it looks like a lot of cutscene shots. It doesn't look like game, uh, the actual gameplay, so I don't know. I mean, 
if anyone's played it, let me know what you think. Uh, and I'm sure there's going to be a few guys, especially the UK guys, asking for gameplays of this, and I'll definitely do one if you want one. Um, let's quickly read the blurb on the back because we've only got you know halfway through the video. Really. Uh, it says Kate Walker, a young ambitious lawyer from New York, is handed what seems a fairly straightforward assignment. A quick stop over to handle the sale of an old automation factory hidden in the Alpine Valleys, then straight back home to the US. Little did she imagine when embarking on this task that her life would be turned upside down. So it's a typical adventures kind of thing, but I don't know, it could be quite interesting. But I'm going to give it a go anyway, see how I go. It's a third person adventure anyway, uh, and if it's really good, I will definitely be buying the sequel. But uh, I want to buy something a little different, because you know what it is, you usually just go for the standards like your Halo's, your Dead or Alive, you know. I'm very much into my Dead to Rights, um, Freedom Fighters, just action games really. I got, I was looking at my collection the other day and I got a lot of first person shooters for Xbox. Games like Prior and Halo and Project Snowblind. So I want to break it up a bit, have a bit of a change. Um, I'd love to have a full Xbox collection in the UK, but quite frankly it looks like there's about 900 plus games that that's never going to happen. Cause it's not even the finances, it just takes too damn long to get all that. Pushing that with a shitload of crap sports titles. So. <laughs> anyway guys, that's the package video for today and it's longer than I expected, but there you go. I'm now going to go and do my two tag videos for Bush Gamer and Dan Central, so they will be coming up next. Uh, yeah, Snastastic signing off.